Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Van Journals and welcome back to my channel. So I've got a tutorial here for you guys. This is showing how I make these cute little envelope ephemera folders. Um, I've used a whole bunch of coffee dyed envelopes that I had in my stash and yeah, it was just really fun to have a play with them. Uh, the first one I showed you has a window and that's kind of fun to have a pocket so you can see through it. This one, it's just two plain envelopes. Um, and the benefit of having plain envelopes is that you can then have more space to add pockets on the outside. And then of course, in those big pockets where the envelope opening is, you can stuff in a lot of ephemera. <laughs> so this is one that I pre-prepared earlier. And it just has the base constructed. And then I've got to go in and add the pockets. But let's start from scratch and to show you a different variation and this one is some larger envelopes so the first thing i do is just um, unstrip that sticky part and i cover it over with some decorative washi tape just so that the envelope flap isn't going to um, stick where i don't want it to stick so i just cover up the stickiness of that flap and also just to add a bit of pretty decoration and just trimming that off this washi tape is from washi wednesday and all of those ephemera pieces they're a variety of pieces from um, amity bloom little bindi and paper daisy journals on etsy so just yet yeah, preparing this flap here and trimming that down Then I grab my other envelope and undo the sticky part as well on the other flap. Um, I fold it over just to make sure it's in the right place so that it's creasing in the right spot and folding nicely. Um, I do get a bit more craft glue and stick it over the top of the glue part or the sticky part of that flap just to reinforce it and then glue that down like so. And I do have it folded over first so that I know it's going to be able to fold when I open it. Um, I know exactly that it's going to be able to fold easily without pulling on the paper or overlapping. And so now that is the base constructed. Um, and because this envelope set has no pockets, I mean, sorry, no windows, I can pretty much add my own pockets to all four sides of the envelope, the two outer sides and the two inner sides. So these are little quilted cards. These ones are from Little Bindi on Etsy. And I'm just using some double-sided tape to stick these down along the three edges to create a pocket. And yeah, it's really, really fun. I, I had a whole bunch of these printed out um, in my stash and I was just trying to find a way to use them all and I love how they all went well together so um, yeah Little Bindi, Amity Bloom and Paper Daisy Journals all of the colours seem to be of the pastel colour tone and it was just really fun to combine them all and have them working together all from yeah lots of different different kits there's Polaroids there's um, the film strips, there's the quilted cards, and there's some tags as well. So I love the florals and I love these colours. And I just love how that, yeah, they all go together. No matter which ones I pick, um, it's all going to work as a theme and work well. So you can play around with different types of pockets, of course. So you can have ones where it's a bottom loading pocket or a top loading pocket. You can make corner pockets. Um, down the bottom or the top and so that's what I kind of just do is alternate between different pockets so you get different looks when you flip open the um, envelope and then that of course that means you can fit different size pieces inside those pockets so this one I've made a corner tuck so I can fit in larger pieces and then on the left I think I just do a, a standard bottom loading pocket and I love these two ephemera pieces. These are both from Amity Bloom, the film strips, I believe. 
and I chose these colors because they both have white and blues which are my favorite flowers the white and blue ones uh, so yeah it's pretty simple that's what I love about this project is that you don't need a lot of materials to create it and you don't need a lot of time either um, very very simple just grab some envelopes <laughs> and it's really fun having all the different sizes of envelopes too and all the different types so just grab a whole bunch of envelopes doesn't mat matter what size they are um, find a way to attach them together um, because you can even um, yeah attach the flap on the other side so that the flaps the two flaps aren't joining but you can do a flap attached to the back side of another envelope and then you can cut your pockets wherever you want at the top or the side in the envelope so i am using some washi tape in these um, projects as well and i thought this one fit in really well with the floral theme and the pretty colors there um, in other pocket versions of this or the ephemera folders that i make i go for more of a vintage look and use some vintage style washi tape um, so yeah you can use it with whatever types of ephemera you have to whatever eye that you like, whatever color scheme you like, whatever theme, and I just love it. So I've used coffee dyed envelopes, but you can definitely just use plain envelopes or colored envelopes. <laughs> Again, I just love this project, it's so versatile. Um, and I just really enjoyed uh, going through my envelope stash and using up these ephemera pieces, making pockets and putting ephemera into pockets. And I love the layered look like this. So all those pastel colors, oh, scrumptious. <laughs> and here, just choosing my ephemera to go in these pockets. And I'll try to load them up since it is an ephemera folder. I'm trying to um, put in more than one item in each pocket. And then it's just a matter of choosing things that go together and a wide variety too. So I didn't want to use only one set of um, digitals from a certain kit. I wanted to mix and match with all different kits. So there's a nice variety. So I am just kind of looking at the color scheme. I thought that one was a bit too pink and orange. So I went for this one that has a bit more of the blues in it to match the blue pockets or the blue in the pockets and yep yeah, now i'm just going to choose one for the back and i pretty much yeah chose my favorite pieces from each of the kits to feature as the pockets i love that piece there it is just stunning so beautiful and i'm creating now a top pocket for this one in the corner and i think i do a corner tuck so that I can fit larger pieces in there. Um, so yeah, let me know if you uh, will try this project <laughs> and let me know how it turns out. If you make it, yeah, let me, um, oh, just tag me or share it on the Facebook group in Willowbound Journals. Uh, I would love to see it. Um, and that's the great thing about this as well is you can add your own personality to these projects when you make these depending on your own supplies and your own style, um, it can look really unique. And yeah, so that's pretty much the construction of it. And now I'm just playing around, trying to find coordinating um, pieces of ephemera to put into the pockets. So yeah, pretty much I love the blues and then the purples and a bit of pink and a bit of green <laughs> always green for goes well with anything botanical because it reminds me of um, you know leaves leaves and stems and greenery that kind of thing vegetation and then I do like mixing blues pinks and purples together so I'm not much of a red orange or yellow fan they're, they're my least favorite colors but I love the combination of blues pinks and purples <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, not sure if anyone's still watching now that you've seen the construction, but um, this, I thought I'd just put the camera, keep it rolling, 
um, in case you just like having something on in the background um, and enjoy watching me play around. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're doing. Are you crafting along in the background or oh, in the while you're watching? Or are you having a nice cup of tea or coffee? <laughs> Or settling, settling into bed, or you just woke up in the morning. <laughs> it's always fun um, reading your comments and hearing what you guys are doing or what you're up to. Makes me feel like um, we we're having a crafty session together, or like I'm actually chatting to someone. <laughs> um, I know some people watch videos and put them in the background while they while they're cleaning, uh, or studying, or working. <laughs> So if I can keep you company, oh, I'm glad to do that. <laughs> so I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing here. I did film this quite a while ago, and it's taken me a while just to get around to doing the voiceovers. Um, I've got about 10 videos that I filmed, and I just need to do the recording of all the voiceovers. Um, and I'm not sure if you can hear. I've got the window open. I try to keep the window open instead of using the air conditioner, um, but it just might mean you hear some cars, dogs, birds, <laughs> uh, lawn mowers, all that kind of thing, um, or people's voices too. But yeah, I think I'm just making piles now and getting ready for my next ephemera folder that I'm making. So I'm just kind of choosing pieces that work well together with the colour scheme and then that's ready to go for when I do the next from my folder because I, I was on a roll I made um I, I believe I made nine in one day in one city so yeah I had a lot of fun using up all of those envelopes oh no this is what I'm doing I'm finding a pile of ephemera to put into those inner you know, pockets now <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> so yeah now I think I've finished um yeah so that's the larger envelope size I only had two of those in my stash that size that fun to make and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll be back with another one coming up soon thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye guys